Hello guys, um, I just wanted to make a follow-up video from um, from the video I made a couple of days ago where I said that I might have SFI. Um, to be clear, um, I, I understand how absurdly minor the chances of it being SFI are and how SFI doesn't actually pre present in this way. I, I appreciate that and I, I totally understand. Um, but I do think it's some form of degenerative ne neurodegenerative disorder because... Um, this all started for me in uh, March, April 2018, where I would have excruciating chest pain, depending on what position my body was in. So the chest pain would trigger 100% oh, of the time if I was lying down on my left hand side, propping my head up, reading a book. In that position, the pain would trigger 100% of the time, and the pain was absolutely excruciating, out of this world pain. It would culminate in, in my sternum, just below, you know, the I think it's called the xiphoid process, um, in the in the rib cage, just just underneath my rib cage, it would culminate there, and it was absolutely excruciating. Uh, I would get muscle inflammation all over my back and uh, my shoulder blades and my chest. I would get pain standing up, um, very very painful to stand up, um, in my feet. Uh, what else? And my IBS, my lifelong IBS, um, which I've had since I was seven years old, went into overdrive and it became really, really painful to pass a stool and um, the pain would linger on after, after an episode and, um, you know, it would linger as long as a week sometimes and, and you know, I was losing a lot of weight, a lot of weight um, and... Um, it became so bad that I had to do a colonoscopy to to exclude any any you know uh, um, bowel disease like Crohn's or something like that. Um, I was very very underweight and um, eating any sort of food would would trigger it. It doesn't matter what I excluded from my diet. Um, now I just want to show the camera um, some of the medicines, some of the medicines, all the medicines I take. So, let me try and get them into frame, into focus here. So, over here, that's the olanzapine, 30 milligrams. Next to it, I've got the meanserin. No, oops, I'm going out of frame. Meanserin, 90 milligrams. Then I've got the, whoops. Then I've got the risperidone. I've got the risperidone, 1.5 milligrams. And I've got the clonazepam, 0.5 milligrams. I've tapered it off to 0.5 now. Um, so as you can see, that's that's a ridiculous amount of medication to take. So I, I you just need to sympathize with the fact that if, if you don't understand the medicines that I'm taking, um, 30 milligrams of olanzapine is, is an absolutely astronomical dose on its own. 30 milligrams of olanzapine on its own should knock out anybody for a good... 12 to 16 hours uh, at the very least. Um, and then the meanserin is also highly sedating and the risperidone is highly sedating as well. And I take all these, and the clonazepam, which, which, which is uh, known to be a very powerful benzodiazepine. And I take all these medicines at once, but um, I don't feel sedated in the slightest, not, not in the least tiniest bit I feel sedated. And I'm averaging now one to one and a half hours of sleep um, on, on that cocktail. And, um, you know, one and a half hours of sleep on such a ridiculous cocktail is, is very, it's very worrying. And it's not a tolerance issue. It takes years to build up tolerance to, to olanzapine, which is why it's such a popular drug prescribed for um, psychotic illnesses like uh, schizophrenia or drug-induced psychosis or whatever. You can look it up if you don't believe me. It takes it takes a long time to build up tolerance to olanzapine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to clear the air. Like um, it's it's it might not be SFI. I I totally I'm totally fine with that, but it's definitely not anxiety. If it was anxiety, the drugs would just absolutely knock me off my feet and put me to sleep. And irrespective of how bad my anxiety was, you know. Um, you know, if the clonazepam alone, if it was anxiety, should should make me feel calm or calm me down, but I'm not getting any sedation at all from the cocktail of drugs altogether, you know. Um, 
Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm ranting, I'm not, I'm, my thought process is, is all over the place today because I'm so tired. Um, I just wanted to, to uh, clear the air, that's all. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Anyway, I'm tired. I've got to go.